Shinghai Mas Nanava Mas Nava Kapatu Senata Maria Haning Tubunun Sidangka Imita Natucin Mas Tan Mas Yatu Iskuda Kudahai Chiji Zis Isya Mas Nanava Shima Is Nanavanto Haningu Maku Uni Amilika Tahu The sins against the unity of the church, of the divisions in the body of the church. Di Gregorio is one of the two journalists who have reported, as this headline in her paper says, sex and blackmailed careers are behind Benedict's resignation. Sordid tales of Vatican officials consorting with male prostitutes. Una, una curia in mano a una rete. A church governed, she says, by a network of officials, some of whom are compromised by their homosexual activities. Compromised perhaps to senior levels, says Ignazio Ingrao, a writer for the Newsweekly Panorama. How high does it go? Cardinals? Uh, fino ai cardinali. Sì, si, cardinals. Signore Cardinali. Ingrao says he believes Pope Benedict's attempts at reform were stymied every step of the way. In these eight years, the Pope has repeatedly made calls to stop the divisions, he says, to end the power struggles in the Curia and to have more transparency. But these calls weren't heeded. The secret documents leaked last year by the Pope's butler, according to the reporter who first published them, paint a devastating picture of an isolated Pope surrounded by members of the Italian Curia who actively impeded his efforts, something that surprised the author. The Pope's loneliness in front of what is happening in the Vatican Curia, a Pope that was alone and was left alone, a Pope who is a great theologian but who hasn't succeeded in bringing forth his reforms in the battle for transparency. He was the first pontiff to ever take meaningful action in response to the waves of pre-sex abuse that have plagued the Catholic Church for these many decades now. He sat down with pre-sex abuse victims, even apologized for what he considered to be the, quote, filth sweeping through the Catholic Church. Unlike his predecessor, John Paul II, Benedict XVI was long known as God's Rottweiler for being a fierce defendant of Catholic Church doctrine. In fact, Nutzi, whose book is now coming out in English entitled Ratzinger Was Afraid, believes the butler took the risk of leaking the documents precisely because he believed making them public would help the Pope in his battle to restore order. According to Nutzi, the corruption the Pope tried but failed to root out included kickbacks on Vatican contracts, money laundering, and influence peddling, among other things. And author Nutzi is convinced each time the Pope tried to change the rules, his attempts were frustrated. You can keep on believing in the fable that the Pope has resigned because he is tired, but I don't believe it. 
si è deciso in solitudine perché non si fidava. He decided by himself, says Di Gregorio, to resign because he no longer trusted the men around him. Thank you for the prayers. Benedict says he's not abandoning the church, but according to these accounts, the church may have abandoned him. So he, he probably didn't know how to deal with it. Yes. yes. At that time, it was not such a big problem yet. Maybe some reporting here and there, but we did not even discover all the murder children in the graves, in silence, in the darkness of the, the Catholic administration, priests and all, in Canada or in America. You see, we didn't discover hundreds of thousands of them dead in unknown graves because of the sexual rape, because maybe murder, to keep silent, yes, yes. to keep it secret. Maybe the way they raped them was too brutal and they just died. Imagine they were just two, three, six years old. Yes, master. How can they bear it? That's right, Master. All these fat people who were eaten from the donations and then turn around and harm their children. Yes, yes Master. Yes. The children, like the indigenous children that were supposed to be integrated into a new civilization of the uh, American settlers and Canadian settlers before? Yes. 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 What kind of integration? What kind of civilization? Mm. You saw that, huh? Yeah. Yes. The indigenous people, for example, they are okay as they are. Yes. yes. Their elders taught them fine. Yes. Right. They know how to respect the Mother Earth that nourishes them. They know how to respect the sun who helps them grow crops. Yes. They respect everything around them. Trees and animal people, everything. Yes, Master. So then they were supposed to be integrated into a civilization. And what did they learn? You see that? Brutality, mm. rape, yes. huh? harassing, molesting children, and then murdering them as well. Mm. Or harsh punishment for anything. That's not fair. They were the first people who inhabited these countries now. Yes. yes. They now became a different country. And what did they do? They came from anywhere, somewhere, and robbed them of their land, destroying their house, and snatching away their children, raping them, murdering them. Huh? What kind of civilization is that? When they wanted to focus on the expansion of Canada, the government stepped up its plans to get rid of the Indian problem and help settlers claim land occupied by the indigenous people, so they decided to fund and expand the schools. It was decided that this was the best way to get rid of the Indian question altogether. In order to make that happen, they decided that if they forcibly took children from their families and took away every aspect of who they are as human beings, if their traditional knowledge was erased, their identities obscured and their voices silenced, they could take the Indian out of the child and their problem would be solved. There would be no more Indians. Fort Albany Residential School in Ontario, also known as St. Anne's, was one example of the worst of the abuse to indigenous children in Canada. It opened in 1906, and if it had not been for the persistence of the survivors of that school who began to tell their stories of excessive physical and sexual abuse publicly in 1992, the information about what happened would have disappeared. The government of Ontario then started a five-year investigation and the documents were released in 2014 that reveal stories of the children being locked in the basements for days, forced to wear soiled underwear on their heads for hours, forced to eat their own vomit, beaten with metal whips, and even being strapped to a homemade electric chair in front of other children while staff watched. There were stories of horrific sexual abuse to children of all ages by priests, nuns, and other staff at the school. Residential school survivors from across the country have stories of physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, starvation, being part of malnutrition experiments, neglect, racism, and loneliness. These children did not know the love of parents, family, or their community and were deprived of emotional caring or connection. 
One of the darkest elements of the residential school system was how many children died or just disappeared while attending. Sameless, especially when it comes from so-called holy institutions, holy churches and clergy, and we are supposed to be God's representatives. Yes, Master. People would at least, if they cannot trust anyone else in the world, they could trust the priest. No, no. Oh, these are the most evil. So then how can you trust anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Ti posso assicurare che la corruzione del clero romano, dell'altro clero romano, anche quello che ruota intorno al nostro Papa, mi dispiace, è, a, è un'alta percentuale. Il che vuol dire che i veri celibi fedeli a quel messaggio sono pochissimi. One former priest said that, you know, perhaps 50% of priests who enter the priesthood may be gay. I talked to a long-time veteran journalist here in Rome who said it's well known that monsignors and others in the Vatican conduct affairs either with women or men. The real issue here is there is a difference between having affairs and committing crimes against young boys, which is what happened under uh, these priests for so many generations. Everywhere that we have good data, 10% of the priests abuse children. And, uh, you know, in Buenos Aires, uh, where uh, Pope Francis served as the Cardinal Archbishop, he claimed that no priest abused children there. And that's simply ridiculous. I advise all the people who believe in God or Buddha, just pray to God and Buddha. Don't ever trust these priests who might harm you spiritually, physically, emotionally, and mentally in any way and rob you of your hard-earned money. It's supposed to be for the poor, but they use it for themselves, for flashy cars, houses, and big meat and big wine. Yes, Even more than ordinary people. Yes. Ordinary people cannot afford that big turkey or big steak. Right. And they may be eating meat only now and then if they can afford it. They even have to go out and steal food for their children for Thanksgiving even. Yes. Just because they thought this is a holy holiday they must celebrate. Yes. Even though they have nothing. They go out and steal food. Yes. And even the police have to buy food for them, but that's just one instant. Mm. But there are many more that people don't print in the press. And here, supposed to be holy priests taking their donations and living lavishly themselves. Yes. yes. Doing not much. Right. If not doing harm, then doing not much. Mm. Yes. So this system is against God, against religion of any kind, against Christ against the Buddhas, against anything that is good and decent. Yeah? Yes, Master. Yes, master. Yes, master. They go into people's houses, stealing their food, stealing their land, robbing them of their freedom, and even raping and murdering their children. Oh, God, sickening, sickening group of people. Yes, yes, master. master. No wonder heaven wants to destroy this planet. Oh. And hell is waiting to roast them. Now you know. Yes, Master. That's it. I, I wanted to say that. In the world, if somebody goes and takes over your house and robs you of everything and then rapes and kills your children, would you just say nothing, do nothing? No. no. But because you're weak, maybe they can do that. But the government did nothing. That is the thing to question. Yes. Yes, yes, yes Master. Government has the police, has the army. Yes. yes. It has all the authority to take care, but they do not take care of anything. Just a couple of cases they take care of. In some local cases, that's all. Yes. Some good church did that. A good church in the court. Yes. Otherwise, almost the whole world does nothing. Yes, yes, yes Master. Citing that the Vatican has sovereign immunity. Oh my God. I'm telling you, this is all BS. This is a coward. This and evil. Yes. The government are siding with the powerful, with the church, with the priests, the bad and rotten evil priests, instead of protecting the citizens. Wow, they are taking their tax money to have privilege, to have prestige, to have richness and security. Yes. 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 That's why I told you they are cowards. They are rotten. These governments, they are all rotten. I dare to say that in their face. Awesome.
This is saying it to their face already because it will be going on to be master TV. It's no secret. Yes, yes, master. yes, master. My God. Now you know why I'm so angry when talking about it. Yes, yes master. Yes, children master. are suffering and they're ignoring it. They're siding with the criminal instead of the victim. Yes, master. Yes, master. And outside in their society, they're just chasing after one poor thief or some little small criminal. Yes, yeah, master. just Just yes. for show, just to put it on the... TV, just to be in the press that they're doing something. While the real, truly wicked, worst criminals are protected by their own system. That's why I told them, all these governments who did nothing to protect the children, past, present, and future, they're all rotten. They all will go to hell together with these criminals. And I'm not telling you a lie. It is a truth like that. I will make sure they will stay in hell forever. End. We need to know how to save this planet that we live on to align our consciousness with the fundamental frequencies which all have in common and to generate love and energy between us. Russell Brand, Vegan, 